for your confirmation. We have pathway ETS transferred from here to TN2. Inside six minutes now until launch. Transfer to TN2. All systems uh, remain on track. Everything is go. the five minute mark until launch, all the loops very quiet, everything proceeding normally. LC, mess one, countdown one. Go ahead, mess. Tango three, abatement successful. Copy that, and uh, OPS one, you can de-energize, ME one, VP, GEPV. LC, OPS one copies, VPG deactivated. And OPS one, you can transfer avionics to internal power. In work. All internal power on, waiting five seconds. All external power off, step complete. Copy 447, Elect 1, report avionics internal power status. LC Elect 1, internal power nominal. Roger, Ops 1, open FTS Umbi loop and verify green indication. LC Ops 1, FTS Umbi loop, open and green. FTS, report FTU, FTLU status. LC, FTLU, and FTS receiver indications are nominal. Copy that. Ops 1, send all arm commands. LC, Ops 1, all arm commands sent. Elect 1, report SNAs and ODM status. LC, Elect 1, SNAs, ODMs, all armed. Copy that. You're listening uh, to the conversations at the Range Control Center at Wallops Island, Virginia, at the Wallops Flight Facility. We are now inside four minutes until launch. Copy that. And Ops 2, mode SIGI to navigate. And yes. Siggy and NAVS. And GNC-1, uh, report Siggy status. LC, GNC-1, Siggy NAV, mode nominal. Roger, copy that. Check all steps through 456 complete. T-minus three and a half minutes until launch. Standing by for the initiation of the auto sequence start for the terminal portion of the countdown. Uh, will be active at T-minus three minutes. Verified mission time set to minus 180 at T minus 3 minutes 10 seconds. Mark, three minutes until launch. Copy auto sequence start. Control is transferred to CSOE. Copy, we have control to CSOE. ODM bus voltages and currents nominal. Roger, I like one. VTSO is open. Copy, VTSO open. All of the uh, launch pad functions now in control of this automatic uh, sequencing. Everything is green. The range is green. Two minutes and 18 seconds until launch. Charging. And we'll be at T minus two minutes on my mark. Mark. Two minutes and counting. EHS actuator slew test initiated. Copy slew test. And we'll be at T minus one minute thirty seconds on my mark. Mark. Everything continues uh, to proceed normally. And Terry's and Cygnus are both go for launch. Preliminary. One minute, 20 seconds until liftoff. Copy. The Mox tank press. T 
minus one minute on my mark. Mark. Uh, preliminary fuel tank pressurization has started. Copy. We have prelim fuel tank press start. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. T-minus 30 seconds. Mark. T-minus 20 seconds, standing by for engine ignition sequencing. T-minus 10 seconds. And mark. Five, four, three, two, one. And we have ignition. Liftoff confirmed, and Terry's and the SS Gene Cernan now bound for the International Space Station. out to the southeast, approaching the one-minute mark into flight. We throttle back up to full power, 100% operation. Keep up, keep up one minute, we're through max Q, attitude remains nominal. All main engine parameters look good at this point. Core pressures are nominal. Core pressures remain nominal. Attitude looks nominal, very modest uh, steering through Max Q. And Terry's now um, passing through the ma area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Everything looking great. One minute, 35 seconds into the flight. Less than two minutes to go uh, in first stage performance. At 100% thrust. Core pressures are nominal. Core, core, core pressures look good. T plus two minutes. TVC and attitude remain nominal at this point. Very little TVC steering. This animation uh, generated by real-time telemetry from orbital ATK. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. GNC attitude is nominal. Core pressures are nominal. Core pressures are nominal. Roughly uh, one minute from main engine cutoff. T plus 230. Power system still look good. Engine still at full power. Started the uh, slow throttle ramp to uh, maintain axial acceleration limits. Approaching the uh, three minute mark into the flight, about 30 seconds of uh, powered flight on the first stage remaining. We've, we've now throttled back to 55% power. Roughly 30 seconds from Miko. Power systems are good. TVC position adjusted for shutdown, attitude remains nominal. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff on the first stage. Main engine still look good. Attitude is nominal. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff on stage one. PSS is disabled. We have stage one separation. Stage one separation coming uh, with Antares at an altitude of 67 miles, velocity of almost 9,000 miles an hour. 
getting some telemetry dropout. About 10 seconds away from fairing separation. Coming up on the five minute mark uh, into the flight, everything continues uh, to proceed normally. Uh, as you can see, uh, the upper stage of the Cygnus uh, of the Antares rocket uh, has ignited. Stage two uh, burnout and orbital insertion, uh, the initial orbital insertion scheduled at the seven minutes, six second mark into the flight. Two minutes later, Cygnus will separate from the upper stage. Five minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Everything looking right down the pike as uh, Antares uh, is delivering uh, the Cygnus resupply craft and 7,400 pounds of uh, supplies and science experiments beginning a two-day journey to the International Space Station. Liftoff occurring at the end of the five-minute window today at 7, 19 and 51 seconds a.m. Eastern Time. Everything, all the parameters and the attitude of the upper stage uh, all in line, everything looking great at the six minute mark. About 60 seconds to go uh, in the operation of the second stage of the Antares rocket. Good stage two attitude reported uh, from the range control center at Wallops. The uh, upper stage roll control system performing as advertised at the 6 minute 45 second mark into the flight. About 10 seconds until stage 2 burnout. And uh, the upper stage now has uh, completed its job for the day. Cygnus uh, now at an altitude of 121 miles, moving almost 17,000 miles an hour. In its uh, preliminary orbit, spacecraft separation is scheduled about a minute and a half from now. Eight uh, minutes into the flight, everything looking great. We're at a coast phase right now. Spacecraft separation is scheduled less than a minute from now. Eight minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Okay. A true course so far for the Cygnus uh, resupply craft. Orbital ATK delivering a perfect launch so far. Liftoff time once again came at the end of the five minute window at 7, 19 and 51 seconds AM Eastern time. 
Ready. We're standing by for spacecraft separation. Spacecraft separation now confirmed. The uh, Antares upper stage uh, is in a collision avoidance maneuver to uh, make sure that it is well away from Cygnus. Cygnus now, the SS Gene Cernan, in its preliminary orbit, beginning a two-day trek to the International Space Station after a flawless launch from Pad 0A at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Space Port at Wallops Island, Virginia. And as you can see in the range control center, uh, handshakes all the way around as uh, orbital ATK uh, has uh, delivered successfully uh, the Cygnus resupply craft uh, to its preliminary orbit. It took uh, nine minutes and six seconds for Cygnus to reach its preliminary orbit. The uh, two-stage Antares rocket lifting off at 7.19 and 51 seconds a.m. Eastern Time at the end of the five-minute window available today on this, the uh, second launch attempt following yesterday's scrub.